Okay, so it looks like we have our normal screen size back to normal at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. How are we all? How are we all? So I'm doing this differently. I'm doing this via StreamYard. Um, so we got camera on the left, comments on the right. Um, everything looks hunky dory. Everything's in normal view by the looks of things. Uh, the only thing we can't see, uh, we can't see any likes. I can see there's 30, there's 40 people watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We've been live for 40 seconds. We've got the comments coming through. So the only thing we can see is the likes. So what I would like from some of you guys today is maybe every now and again, give me an update on the likes, on the likes so I know uh, where we are. So how are we all? How are we all? Friday Night Live at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Uh, Eric Grinland's in. John, Matt Williams, Daryl, Daryl's in. William. Phil's in. Jack Bandit's in. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, yes, I'm well, Steve. King Shamey is in. Uh, Evening all. So what's happening is the comments are coming through in batches on the right hand side. So I will only be able to kind of get a hold of kind of the batch, the one of the comments from the batch, because they're like flying up all of a sudden. Am I drinking? Absolutely. So hit the like button down below. Let's see where we are. We currently, it's saying we got 81 people watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Um, hello, Anthony Major. How are you doing, mate? 81 people, Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Um, I quite liked last week. Um, I dropped the top of my blooming Marston's thing again. I quite enjoyed last week. I quite enjoyed the uh, the unboxing video we did. So what I've done, I've got this box from Beers of Europe, and I thought to myself, well, shall we do that then? Shall we keep it as an a uh, like an unboxing kind of Friday night thing? Whenever we get a box, comments on T. No comments on TV, so only on the phone. That's a shame, Paul Turvey. But I suppose. Would you prefer, would you prefer this kind of like full screen mode at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub? Um, I do. I think, I think it's better. Um, I think it's a better thing. Uh, 116, thank F is Friday, says Carl Smith. Um, 116 people in the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Big Kev's in. There he is. You hear this flowing, looking like. Uh, you're on the red wine. <laughs> I bet it's a stout. It is. Yeah. James Rubb is in. Full screen is best. Uh, happy Friday, says Jamie C. Hello, Jamie C. Uh, yes, landscape view is better. So we're, we're in landscape. But apparently, um, is anybody else, has anybody else got comments on their TV? Does anybody else have comments on the TV? Because it looks like the only thing that's different here is that there's no comments on the TVs. Oh, uh, Chinese to take all oh, the Ching Chow I'm drinking now is surprisingly decent. It's all right, Eric Dirk Grunden. It's okay. Uh, Graham's on the McEwen's champion. Enjoy, man. Enjoy. Howdy, Simon. I hope all is well. GM, absolutely fine. Absolutely hunky dory. Wonderful. Uh, I can see the comments on my TV. Fine, says Matt Hall. Okay. Okay. So the people who are. Um, who can see the comments. Can you please tell other people how to get the comments up on the TV, please? Daniel Smith said, had my beers of Europe delivery today, got myself a Miller Genuine Draft and a few cans of Canadian. There we go. Can't see the whole comment, though. That's the trouble. Uh, Tenants in Edinburgh, Hawkston on the perfect draft for James Elms. And the comments are on my TV, says Jonathan Watson. Yep, can see the comments on the TV, says Benovia. Chris is on the double hazy brew dog. 
Fax Premium, Birmingham. So we've got 132 people in the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Uh, I'm sorted. Perfect. Happy days. Right. Paul Turvey sorted it. Paul Turvey sorted the comments out on his TV. So um, where are we with the likes? Can anybody tell me? Have we done 100 likes yet? Have we done? <laughs> Paul Turvey. Um, have we done 100 likes yet? Ontario storm on the way with 12 inches of snow likely. James Webb, but it's been apparently we're gonna have a cold um we're gonna have a cold week next week in the UK. It's not quite over, is it, in March? It's not quite over. Right, uh I am Simon my mate Marla uh some years. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I've lost that massive comment. Uh, some years ago, I had a hundred and ninety break against Tony Ray on. Tony asked, "How many centuries had you had?" Uh, that's the first. Ah, uh, oh, that's amazing. So, uh, first ever hundred break in the snooker. Uh, Joe Stockwell, evening, Simon and all. Uh, Stella and filter tonight takes me back to proper Stella. May back warm and nicely for later. Joe Stockwell, enjoy. Owen says, hey, mate, glad to see you back in the Stone Crow. I am glad to be back. Big care says, David Tanola drinking Chinoli. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, David Tanola. Do, you know do you want to hear the story about the haircut? I've had my haircut. What happened was that, and I've never had long hair before, so I thought, theoretically, theoretically, the best thing to do to have your hair cut when you've got long hair is to put it in a hair tie, like I've been doing for months, but then just cut the end off. I got a friend, free haircut, cut the end off, took the bobble out, and oh my goodness me, the lengths were everywhere. It was all over the place, literally all over the place. I had to get Mel then to cut my hair again. But it's looking, it's not looking too bad, is it? It's not looking too bad, the old day. Uh, good evening, large bottle of Leffe, almost finished. Well done, Kerry. Uh, you make a beautiful woman <laughs> with a long straight head. <laughs> Danny boy, cold up this conservatory tonight. Uh, hi, Simon, on the farm again, American Red Ale, local ale, local craft ale. That's what I used to do here. Yeah, just cut it, cut it in the butt. It was a right mess, absolute right mess. Hmm. Crispy, thank you. Got a Kirk of Bain going on there, Simon. Yeah, come. Um, glad to see the camera now sorted. Craig Holmes, yes, we are streaming through StreamYard. So the only thing I can see, <coughs> Lee W. Zane, hello, Lee W. Um, Hair looks like a set of curtains, Simon. Yeah, thank you. Uh, ah, James Weber. Brilliant. 65 likes. Right, we want 100 likes. 100 likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Hit the like button down below. Uh, hi, Simon. On holiday in Gdansk on Pearl of Pills this evening. Enjoy. Uh, hi, Simon. You drinking red wine? No, no, no. I'm drinking the stout. Uh, it's a, actually, it's a Baltic. It's a Baltic porter. It's a Baltic porter from uh, North Brewing Company. So I reviewed some beers this morning and I kept hold of this one. When I keep hold of a beer, all I do, because it's still cold at the conservatory, I just do that and I put it on the side. So it's been sat on the side all day. Still okay. Lost a bit of its carbonation, but it's still okay. Cameron Cole, Treasure Norway, ADC, Irish Craft Beer Guy, Alan Mead is in, Supernova Heights, uh, Steph Adele, uh, Thomas Taylor, hi Simon, oh yeah, I read that one, uh, yeah, lo loads of people in tonight, it's really cool, uh, Harry Thomas, hi Simon, uh, just spent all book day dressed as a caterpillar and uh, never needed a beer more, <laughs> Harry Thomas, brilliant, love it. Uh, William says, anyone else not getting full HD? Ah, right, okay, so maybe that's the next issue is full HD, is it? Well, this... I kind of blame YouTube for this, for 
messing around with their own app. I used to just do it on the YouTube app, and it used to be 4K or 1080 or whatever it was. Um, now they've messed around with their stream. I've got to do it through StreamYard, and I think StreamYard charges for um, like a 1080p broadcast. So... Paul Trivi enjoyed the St. Ives Brewery Tour. Uh, just ordered some the the Slipway IPA. Oh, well done. Well done, Paul Turvey. Well done. That's that's pretty cool. Um, you should let them all know. Well, let the guys know down in um, St. Ives when, when you order some beer and say you you, know, you you got it from watching the channel. Uh box in the background, Simon just waiting on, on someone to ask him to open it up. Yeah, I'll open it up eventually. So um <coughs> <coughs> I got an update on the cough. It's still better than vertical video. I got an update on the cough. So um, I went to the doctor on Wednesday. I got something called silent reflux. Has anybody heard of silent reflux? Apparently that's what I got. Apparently too much beer. Too much beer causes silent reflux, and it's the acid in the stomach leaking up, um, not giving you any kind of indigestion. I don't get any heartburn or anything like that, but I get a cough and like a a weird like chesty chest, <laughs> a weird chesty chest. So I've I've been I took the tablets Wednesday, took them Thursday, took them this morning. I've been so much better. I've been so much better. The the cough is um heard a total recall. <laughs> Drinking a Bucks and Kingslayer double IPA just bought from Tesco and only brewed two weeks ago. Nice and fresh. Matt Williams, good beer that. Good beer. Uh Simon, I watched the video where you were sent a bottle of seven point five Guinness from a retired Guinness Master Brewer. Was it really that good? Oh, Jeffrey Pello. I got another bottle up there. I got a secret shelf above me where I keep all my collaboration brews. And on the left hand side, I got a couple of really old special beers that I might one day get round to. Um, but he sent me another bottle of Guinness. And with that bottle of Guinness, I thought, I'm not opening now. That's just going to live up there forever. I've written a note as well, just in case anybody finds it in years to come. <clears throat> Darren White, yeah. Apparently, a, a lot of people suffer from it, and they don't know they got it. Yeah, the cough does seem less persistent now. Crispy. It was horrible last week. I was just coughing and rah, and I get the odd. I get the odd, but that's I'm still drinking. See, that's the thing. I reckon if I took the tablets and stopped drinking, which is never going to happen, is it? Um, I'd probably be okay. But it's kind of like con I'm trying to control it. You know, I'm trying to control the situation. Cal, hi Simon. Uh, have you given Brew Dogs Black Heart a go recently? If so, do you think it's a real contender to Guinness? Jet Black Heart? I've had it many times. It used to be a cracking beer. I've not had it for years. I might give it a go soon. Paul Goggins says, even sight. Uh, glad to see you ain't doing porridge yet, Simon. I... <laughs> How's the underground bar going? <laughs> uh, Aaron Wines, oh, we'll have to talk about that in a bit. Uh, oh, I got a better one from the dentist, though. I went to the dentist on Tuesday. Actually, it was Tuesday, not Wednesday. Any plans for the weekend? Sorry, Tristan. <laughs> no, not really. Just keeping my head down at the moment. Just having quiet weekends. Uh, nice and easy, says Bebop. Um, right, so we got Mac talking to Gavin. Brendan saying hello. Hello, how you doing? Uh, what were we just saying? What were we just... Uh, oh, the... Um... Oh, yeah, the dentist. So... This is really quite interesting. So I went to the dentist on Tuesday. Just for a checkup. And uh, they said to me... 
how much do you drink? I had to fill a form out. How much do you drink? And I thought, well, well, that's weird. I've never been asked that before by the dentist. And I just written down 10 pints. They asked my units, like I'm, like I'm supposed to know how many units I drink. I've got no idea how many units I'm drinking. So <coughs> I, um, <clears throat> I uh, wrote down 10 pints. And this dentist, she like read the form, read this as I was laid in the chair. She read this form and she read my rights to me. Absolutely, like I thought, she was like, uh, you, you're going to get um, the big C in your mouth. You're going to get oral big C. And I'm like, oh, right, okay, okay. And I'm thinking to myself, though, um, I, I do, <laughs> wait, I reckon I've done 10 pints on Saturday night. Never mind, never mind, like, all week. I was being a bit conservative, you know, but she still, I thought, I thought, oh, 10 pints. That'll be absolutely fine. The, the, you know, we'll, we'll see. But, but, but well, my point is, why, why, why are we living in this world now? Where um, I, 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 I got a funny feeling it's going to go the way of cigarettes. Remember, remember cigarettes? We used to have the Benson and Edgies, um, Embassy World Championships, and and uh, and there was cigarette advertising everywhere. Cigarette, you know, it was a fight. It, 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 not a fine thing to do but you know it, it, it was accepted wasn't it but i reckon oh, i've got a funny feeling booze is going to go the same way the way the way like they're they're getting in you know asking about like how many pints do i have at the dentist at the dentist what has it got to do with the dentist pugo i have had some uh rumney cascales Uh, drinking magic rock dark arts, cracking beer. Uh, was your appointment at 2 30? <laughs> no, it was my, my appointment. What was I don't know about 10. I do morning stuff, I don't do stuff in the afternoon. I like doing morning things. Uh, Guten Abend, hello, how are we doing? Uh, Flavio reviewing beer now. Uh, face green, smiling. Uh, that took a dark turn. I seen Sri charge for HD. If your teeth fall out, you can always chuck them over the wall. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that an awful lot. I do. Oh, uh, they know everyone is lying, so they pretty much double or triple what you say, Jack Bandit. <coughs> Greetings from Scotland. Currently having a first and burger outside in the front. Of the fire pit. Oh, well, I'd love that. Fire pits and stuff. Um, band H. Oh, band Benson and Edgies. Yes. What, what happened to that comment? Benson and Edgies. Where, where's... Um... Cough. What happened to that comment? Three boxes of lager, twenty-two pound bag in Brewdog, Lost Lager, Amstel Corona. Ah, oh, coolly. I have to get on that. Pugo, nice. If I right, Streamyard's a new thing for me. If I miss anyone's comments tonight, it's because, uh, well, it's just because the comments are coming in through in big blocks. I so I went. Uh, when is a good time to drink my first ale of the day? Uh. Jezza, you drink when you want. You drink when you want. Should have told the dentist to pop it into the stone crow. Yeah, I should have. Beer causes everything according to the medical folk, yeah. Um, I'm over in six weeks. Do you need me to bring anything over from Germany? Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I'd love some German beer. That, In fact, that box there is full of German beer. In Ireland, uh, they are putting labels on alcohol. Mad, isn't it, Si? Well, this is the thing, see, isn't it? This is the thing. Ugh. What kind of dentist doesn't follow any channel? Um, I take my teeth. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They, you know, they know I, I, I drink more than that. Counting down the minutes till I'm off and the weekend starts is Jackson. Uh, oh. You know, everywhere I'm gonna I'm gonna call her Sarah. 
said, I, you know, Susie, Susie, not say Susie. I, I, I read that and I, it's like a mental block. I read it and I'm like, oh, what's that name again? Susie. Uh, me too, up at 4am every day, early bird, get the most worms or whatever the phrase is. Oh, 230, 230, I see. Is Heineken on tap any good? I, I don't really drink it, to be honest. Uh, when I went to the dentist, he was uh, this from the night before. Derek Phillips. So size, uh, it, no teeth or more beer. More beer or more beer. I'm on the Northern Monk Faith, uh, whatever on offer for me, says Dylan. Enjoy whatever's on offer. Yeah, this, this well, the way the world is at the moment. Your dentist will faint with shock when she finds out I was putting away 60 cans of beer a week until recently. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. Got a new base, Charity Brew, Hops, Nosy, Poly, Pin, Pint365, worth it, says, well, what would you say is the best budget supermarket for old school ale? Uh, I quite like Morrison's for old school ale. Oldest joke in the book, Simon, was your appointment at 2.30. Ah, right, 2.30. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I got it. Susie, I got it, Susie. I'm, my apologies. My apologies. Simon, um, hello, Wayne Keith. How you doing, mate? Uh, he's watching from Virginia. Uh, Simon, if anyone's standing in your can tonight and ask what is a beer, what would you pour them? I'd pour them a really nice German-style lager. Uh, Soak in the feet in apple cider vinegar was a game-changer for me. In fact, I'm doing it now. <coughs> we got loads of people watching tonight. Um, cooking roasted chicken thighs in a duvet of cabbage, smothered in double cream and English mustard, topped with brie. Drinking a shepherd near my PA life is good. Talking about beer, I, I finished that stout. The stout was nice. The stout was nice, but now I'm back. I went back up little. I went back. I, I drank a load of these. So I drank a load Friday night and I drank a load um, Saturday night as well. I watched, no, Saturday afternoon, I watched the rugby. <laughs> Wales versus England. I watched the rugby and I, I had a, a, a good few cans of beer. Here we go, like, here we go. Uh, if the dentist expected everyone to take his advice, he wouldn't have any clients. Same with doctors. Hello, Taylor Ben. Scars Music's in. Tommy's in. Tommy Gabriel. Just finished the 24-hour shift, having a go shift. Tommy, well done, mate. You enjoy, mate. Paul, uh, evening, Simon, on a cracking Belgian beer box from Beer Hawk tonight. Might need a hand with the stairs later <laughs> from the other half. Yes, that's it, that's it. The government is treating alcohol like smoking. In the early 80s, the government advised 56 units a week. Now it's down to 14. Soon it will be zero. Wow, I know. 56 down to 14 units. Uh it's scary, isn't it? I, I think it's scary personally because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people work in the industry. A lot of people work in the beer industry, and you've only got to see things like Brew London, where you see the amount of people in the trade. And I, I don't know, I don't know what we're supposed to do. We don't produce much steel anymore in the UK. We don't produce much coal. They don't want us to produce any beer. What are we all supposed to do? Sit sit down and watch cooking programs on the on the telly all day. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, is it possible? Where did that go? I'm just about to read a comment and it disappears on me. I've lost. 
Ah, there, there it is. Is it possible that breweries knock out a bad batch, but eight bottles of Castle Rock Alcy Mo for Morrison's? Really? Nice. God, eight bottles? Horrible. Of extra twang get it well steve i think so yeah i think it's just, just different batches you might have a really good batch you might have a really bad batch i don't mind i didn't mind i thought the both teams are terrible mind i thought england and wales i think they're both going through a bad spell personally if that was a good english side they would have thrashed us absolutely thrashed us is it two percent no 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 dole this is um the wheat, this is the wheat beer. The wheat beer is, have a look. Look, it's 5%. The wheat beer is 5%. The, you're on about the Rattler. The Rattler's okay. If you want to drink a 2% beer, it's absolutely fine. Nice and lemonade -y. Paul Coggin, what's my rating on the little wheat beer? I, I like it. I like it. I know... Uh, it does divide opinion it does um some people don't like it some people do um, <laughs> i'm in the opinion of it's relatively cheap and it's relatively tasty relatively tasty it's five percent i mean yeah it's not bad at all two finger head we'd love to see it yeah uh, Jonathan Kent, are you visiting GBNF? GBBF? Yeah, probably. Uh, Wayne's asking, where's the missus? She's she's gaming now. She's gaming. I think she's um, I think she's been retired now from the Stone Crow Virtual Club. It's a bit of a shame, but th there we go. Can anybody help me out with the likes? How many likes do we currently have on the live stream? Uh, I haven't. Tried that little wheat beer yet? Uh, can we have to get in some of the littles in Ireland? Absolutely. I had a load of Francis can of ice beer last Friday on the Stone Crow. It was a bit rough on Saturday morning. Paul, it does it to me. Francis Canna, I do feel a bit rough off that, to be honest. Gavin says this looks like Lowenbra. Lovenbro. I like Lowenbro. I'm sorry. It is Lowenbro. Lowenbro. It's all right, the white bit, the spirit, white sphere, isn't it? From uh, Lombra. Are you visiting GBBF again this year? Dates announced. Um, probably, probably, it's all a little bit, you know, it's all a little bit difficult to get to from where I am. So, let me tell you a little story. So, that's this is Jonathan Kent asking me, Am I going to GBBF? Like, <coughs> I like to train it. I like to train it. So, um, I like to. So, I've been invited to judge. I've been invited to judge for the Seba event, the Seba X. It's something like March fourteenth. Like, it's probably a week Tuesday. It's probably a week Tuesday. I went in, had a look at train times, and the cost. It was like hundred and seventy quid return from Liverpool. And I just can't, like, it's difficult then, isn't it? It's really difficult to to justify it. It's really difficult to go, yeah, I want to go to, I want to go to um, CBRX and judge for them. I love it. I love it when I'm there. I love it when I'm there. But, um, oh, it's like, it's, it's hard to justify that that money to go all the way up to Liverpool. You gotta stay in a hotel, stay in a hotel, you're getting back from the hotel. Um it just adds up. It it just adds up. It's it's a real shame. But it's the same with London. It's the same with London. Um I'll I need to be in London for GBBF by at least 10 30 in the morning. At least 10 30. I like to get into the GBBF nice and early, show my badge, get in, have a scoot around, have a look where all the breweries are, plan my day. Um, although I don't do too much reviewing anymore, I like to chat with people and have fun with people. But I like to know where all the bars are. And 
I normally mega burst it. I normally mega burst it. And if you get the right driver, he, he might pull you over right, more or less, right, like five or ten minutes walk from uh, GBBF. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, GBBF, yeah, about, about five or ten minutes walk. Um, the other one is Brew London. The other one is Brew London. Now, I like Brew London. I really like Brew London. Brew London for me, although I got really drunk last year. I got really, really drunk last year. Um, Brew London's terrific. Love Brew London. Um, alcohol makes people rebel. They want obedient, non-questioning workers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to, to think of it all, to be honest. Wow, we got loads of comments. Loads and loads and loads of uh, Trains are grossly overpriced. Disgusting. Yeah, they really are. Hello, Burlington. How you doing? Up the week beer. Not sunny enough for me, personally. Harry, well, yeah, it is a bit chilly. I do like it in the summer. I love a week beer in the summer. Oh, amazing. Stu lost you. Uh, evening all. Just finished work. Pint of tribute waiting for me when I'm when I'm home. Jonathan Watson said I can stop at his in Liverpool. That's very nice of you. Very nice. <coughs> um, just had a Northern Monk faith in futures reduced to clear in Tesco. Two forty five bargain. Pick him up. Aaron, we'll have a look. I have some stout for you to try. How can I send it to you? Um, Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. Send me an email and we'll have a chat. Ah, we got a super chat. Now, how do these super chats work then on um, StreamYard? So, bet, where's it going? Uh, bend the net. $10. $10 super chat. Thank you very much, Ben. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Stone the Crows. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, sorry, what uh, do you reckon for a three, for a one might help you out? At the, what's this now? At the competition? What? Is it three for a one might help. <laughs> <coughs> Not sure what that means, to be honest. <clears throat> Uh, you're welcome to stay with us in Germany or at our apartment in, in, in Belgium. Well, Gavin Nuss, that, that would be... This is the thing. I want to, like... I didn't St. Ives. Three for the ten. Ah, I see, see. Um, I, I did St. Ives last week. The video did pretty well. The, the video's on about 9,000 views. And that's actually pretty good isn't it that's pretty good for the channel um we don't like overreach we don't kind of go mad i like three for 100 <laughs> uh calvin dickinson says uh si, can you see your super chats right i got one at the moment i can see calvin that i got one super chat at the moment um if there has been any more then I haven't seen any more, but I have I can see one at the moment. He's a $10, $10 super chat. So to anybody who's just tuned in, we're doing this live stream through StreamYard tonight. And um, it's very good, actually. StreamYard is very good. Um, it's got us back, back in normal portrait mode, hasn't it? Uh, Simon is at an M and S near you. Uh, Brew by numbers are doing a good summit in Citra. <coughs> yeah, there's one in um, about a couple of miles away. Right. Um, have you tried the split ticketing sites? Transport for uh, TFW wanted nearly twenty two pound. Watched the difference to Calix said the train line split tickets was under fourteen pound for the same trains. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at the train line. 
Travis is in. Hello, Travis, mate. He wants to watch the uh, St. Ives video. It's all right. Oh, lovely. What a lovely place, St. Ives. What a lovely place. So we are 35 minutes into the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Um, what I would like to know, because I don't see the light. Ah, we have another super chat. I am seeing the super chat. Loving the live drinking. John Smith, Tadcaster. Enjoy. Enjoy your John Smith, Reese Crofton. Train stowaway. Hang off the side like an Indiana. That's James Bond, isn't it? Uh, let me try the tube. Brewdog packet export IPA is like rocket fuel. I haven't. I'd like to try it though. So here's an idea: camper van and tour of beer festivals this summer. Do you know that would be incredible, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely incredible. Um, to do something like that, um, I've got to do something like that. I've got to do something like that. I'm itching, itching to do stuff like that. Hello, Antonio in, in Italy. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, best craft, Hell's Lager from the UK. Ah, Hell's Lager from the UK. Uh, I quite I quite like Camden. Camden's okay. Uh, Stone the Crows, having a Stone Island IPA, says Silver JJ. Um, if you had to swim in beer, which one would it be? Swimming in beer. Vice beer. Definitely vice beer. Supernova Heights. Um, if you put a brown dressing gown on, you will defo be on the monk. Defo be the monk of the stone crow. <laughs> I like that. Um, Jonathan Watson, real ill fan. Is a real ill fan. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Neil Morgan. And my head goes my head goes when I see when I see the name I'm like I'm like trying to work and then, and then I'm like I, I was doing the, the... I'm just going to read the comment and I'm sure it'll come back Susie it's Susie oh my goodness me my brain won't allow this my brain does not work with your name of your YouTube, uh, <laughs> my brain's like, <laughs> um, <laughs> have a fraction arm. Spent 11 hours in hospital as I tried breaking a cat fight and tripped. After the pain, painful day, I came home. Um, he expects a treat next time. Getting a dog on codeine, so no drink today. Ah, <coughs> Neil Moore. <laughs> <coughs> Here we go. Neil Morgan says, Evening all. Gaddy Burst is drinking a Sainsbury's Hop Cross Ale. Interesting. Uh, David Power, Camden, 79p a can, and local Heron Foods. Bought most of them. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> this, this. I'm having one of those. <coughs> <coughs> so this this is um silent um silent suffering uh, uh this is silent uh what do they call it silent uh flux silent reflux <coughs> carry on with the great content simon currently enjoying velvet stuff for master absolutely love the stuff <coughs> <clears throat> Absolutely love the stuff. It's a weird, it's like it's like a guitar string on the back of my throat. And it's like tickling. It's like ding ding ding. And it's like, oh, it's the most annoying thing in the world. Uh Thomas Walsh, 10 pounds super chat. Thank you very much. Carry on with the great content, Simon. Currently enjoying Velvet Stout from Asda. Absolutely love the stuff. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. It sounds like I'm laughing. It sounds like I'm going to break out into, into a laugh. It's not. I'm trying to, like, catch my breath, like. Uh, I need to set that cough. <coughs> yeah. 
I have. I've been to the doctors this week. He said, <laughs> he said, uh, he said, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I see the beer of you in a box behind you, Simon. Just had a box order this week, too. Full of lovely different wheat beers. Ali D. Awesome. Uh, I get another opinion um, on the cough. Uh, I think so. I think so. <laughs> I did. I'm, I'm, I'm clear. I did a test. Uh, have you have dipped your boop in a pint of Timothy Taylor? Well, I don't know. Do you remember Bob Fleming from the Fast Show? No, no. Oh, I, I suppose that's what I suppose that's what I am at the moment. Isn't it? What conditioner? Um, it's just the red bottle of stuff that I use. It's my wife's stuff. I run out of my stuff. I use that cheap stuff. Um, I just buy that cheap stuff in Aldi. <clears throat> Stick that in my air. Coconut, coconut conditioner or something. Uh, have a drink of beer. That will cure your acid reflux. Yeah, big Kev, let's get to <laughs> That'll sort it. My old grandfather used to say, when he was alive, um, he used to say, wash it away. Wash all your colds away. And he used to, he used to drink a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> uh, just drink more. Just drink more beers. Uh, it'll kill the sickness. Yeah, yeah, it might kill something else. Oh. Uh, on the left, brew. Uh, Rich Charles, no. That's why I'm not drinking. Oh, the, yeah, okay. Uh, but seriously, mate, get the docs to check the cough again. He was a temporary doctor. A temporary doctor, and he was like, he was more because he asked me. I tell you what, the doctor did. He got to that age old question, What do you do for a living? So, like, I explained to him what I did for a living, and he didn't give me any kind of like, you know, I said, Look, I work in the beer industry, and um, I run a YouTube channel, and and then he was like, he spent he spent fifteen minutes looking at my YouTube channel, and then he he said to me, "What do you um what do you want from this appointment?" And I looked at him, and I said, "What?" I, I said, "I want you to make me better." And he went, "Oh, good, good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you said that." And I was thinking to myself, "Well, what else? Why why else am I here? Why else am I sitting in your doctor's surgery?" If I don't want you to make me better, why else am I here? So I can brag about my bloody YouTube channel. It is Simon Woods in Simon Wood uh, conditioner. The conditioner is point ten, pan ten. Yeah, uh, point ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wash my head in beer. Hi, Simon. How you doing, mate? So. Just to let just to let Simon Wood know and everybody else who's just tuned in, we are live streaming on StreamYard. So it's a little bit different. I can see how long I'm live streaming for. I can see that we got 253 people watching. I can see my name in the corner, whatever corner it is. Um, I can see the comments, but the comments are coming in blocks. So it's not like streaming on YouTube where you get comments and then they kind of roll up nicely. This is like five comments come and then you, you have to read them and then they disappear and they're replaced by another five comments. And you're like, oh, it leaves me scrambling a little bit trying to find. So if I miss anyone's comment tonight, it's because I'm on StreamYard. The other thing. The other thing, I can't see the likes. Can somebody tell me how many likes we got currently after 45 minutes of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub? I can't see the likes. Do we have over 100 likes yet? I 
and then you got to press this new comments button and then it's like phew. right 160 162 fantastic can we do <coughs> 200 likes 200 likes at the stone crow virtual pub hello nigel how you doing mate uh can we do 200 likes at the stone crow virtual pub 200 likes let it let me know when we hit 200 likes at the stone crow virtual pub this is delicious tonight this beer <clears throat> absolutely lovely really 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 lovely just a cheap little wheat beer um i bought another what did i bite it i bought uh eight cans today i bought 12 cans last week drank them bought another eight cans today <clears throat> uh eighth beer no no not my eighth beer no it's like my um of the day of the day it's um uh my sixth my sixth beer of the day so far uh hi simon i uh, hope you can sort that cough out mate i nigel yeah it's i've been to the doctor it's called um silent reflux apparently it's something to like alcohol related it's it's like um too much acid or something I mean, it, it doesn't cause me any heartburn doesn't cause me it cause me any like whatever else reflux causes it's silent but it causes a bit of a cough and it causes uh what else does it cause like a bit of like phlegm on the chest Ugh. Uh, I'm new. Hi, Tom Smith. Hi, Simon. I'm now drinking a Hobgoblin Ruby. Keep up the good work. Oh, Michael says 190. 190 likes and one from Poland. 191 likes. Can we do 200 likes in the Stone Crow Virtual Pub? It looks like we got 10 likes to go. 10 likes to go for 200 likes. That's flaming good. It's good. <clears throat> enjoying a three floyd zombie dust classic example of a citra hop brilliant beer simon what's been your favorite food you reviewed after a beer so far in 2023 oh it's been a bit boring <coughs> <coughs> i've realized on the channel that i'm not doing really exciting stuff food wise and I want to, I want to do more exciting things food wise. So I'm going to ramp things up in the next few weeks. I'm going to really start ramping things up. I, so far, I would say Burger King. No, no. Um, <clears throat> the Andorra, the chicken place. What's that place called? Um, what's that chicken place I went to in Andorra? What was that called? Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah, I think Popeyes chicken. Popeyes chicken so far was my favourite food review. It's great. Enjoyed that. Too much acid. <laughs> yeah, crispy. Uh, has anyone tried? The man might assume that's very more. Oh, Andrew Rollins, I bet they're fantastic. Popeyes, that's it. Popeyes chicken. I love your food reviews. Um, it is everyday folk and reasonably priced. And see the comment moves on it, makes it look like I can't read. Reasonably priced so that nobody has left out, but I get you are looking for new ideas. So, Susie, yeah, there's going to be. Um, I want to do more local um, takeaways. I want to do more local takeaways to me. Um, we've got some fantastic takeaways in Barry. We've got um, we've got some great places. We really have. Um, some good, some good fish and chip shops. Um, 
of course we're, we're an island we're, we're like a you know like a tourist destination so fish and chips on the promenade that sort of thing um although i'm not a fish and chips fan really i'm more of a sausage and batter i'm more of a sausage and batter with with curry sauce and chips that's my i could eat that every day in fact so yesterday the the kids the, the kids went on strike yesterday the teachers went on strike didn't they so my kids were home and my daughter is very much like me food wise very much like me but i fight it i try and fight it on a daily basis it's a daily basis mind you but i try and fight it um she came down the stairs and she said i i've had my pocket money off the grandparents can i go around the chip shop and it was like 12 o'clock and i had to have that awkward conversation with her We got a five pound super chat, and we got one from Simon Wood saying, "When your audience is your memory bank, Popeyes, that's it." Yes, um, Gareth McDonald, who was a three pound seventy six pence super chat. Thank you very much, Gareth. Really appreciate that. And Miko, five euro super chat. Hello, Simon. Uh, lovely to enjoy my beer here at Stone Crow Pub once again. Any progress with the backyard thing? Right, Miko, as you've asked. And as you paid for a super chat to ask, right, things are on stop. Um, things are on stop. Uh, well, it's slightly awkward, to be honest. But things are on stop. Things are um, not permanently. Not permanently, because I'm, I, I firmly believe that time is a great healer. I'm one of those people that think as time goes by, you know, all of the all of the stuff that's gone on, you know, it can it can heal. It can it can heal and and <sighs> winter's a harsh time. It's a harsh time because everything's raw, all the grass has died back, all of the weeds have died back, everything's black. All of the weeds that grew in the lanes, they've all gone black and, and like rotten. And it's only spring and summer, spring and summer, where everything shoots up out the ground. You know, everything's looking a bit softer on the eye. Does that make sense? Everything's looking a bit softer on the eye. Everything's greener growing looking nice better and i and i think um yeah i'm just letting things just like uh yeah just 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 i'm just letting things settle that's the word settle um the, the frustrate i'll be i'll be perfectly honest the frustrating thing for me is I'm 90%, I'm 90% in, 90% in to um, what I want to do first phase. That first phase, I'm 90% in. And that little 10%, that little percent. If I was in my 20s, I would have been full steam ahead. And I would have maybe upset a million more people and... I would have gone, you know, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Shameless on the telly type thing. But I've learned in life, I'm, I'm in my 40s now, and I've, I've learned just to, you know, have a little bit more kind of respect, have a little bit, have a little bit of patience. That's the biggest one, patience. Get a bit of patience, learn a bit of patience in life, and... Let the small, let the smouldering that's smouldering stop smouldering. If that makes any sense, Does, am, I, am I making sense with this whole thing, or am I sounding like a complete bonkers bloke? 
Uh, you Shepard need to put Bishop's finger in clear bottles? Ah, oh, well, because it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Um, I used to like Bishop's finger, but they should put it in brown glass bottles. If you're in my table of child, uh, you'll see your idea work. Moving from rating supermarkets to local places, then when you build going elsewhere, uh, you, you'd be good at it as you're likable. Uh, very hard to find a proper chippy. Uh, hello, beer geek Holland. How you doing? So I'm still reading some of the comments here. Um, brown bottles. People talking about Chapinine, brown bottles. Uh, my review of my tea is that I have a sloppy, <laughs> sloppy Giuseppe. Oh, the turf. Well, I, I, yeah, I just read that one, Tristan. The, I live in Fabsham where they're located. Absolutely makes sense. Oh, Miko says absolutely makes sense. Um, not great beer. So, Jack Bandit. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't um, talk live here. Um, it's, t it's, it's a tough one. It's really a tough one. Um, thing is, everyone, it went national. This, this, this story went in the sun. The Daily Mail, the Daily Telegraph. It went national, this story. So everyone read it. So whereas things were once being done, you know, between neighbours, things were being done quietly, it all of a sudden it went national. It was like national. And then all of a sudden, you know, People who didn't know what was going on, they knew what was going on, and it's like, it was like it was like the flipping, I you know, shut the flipping curtains type of thing, you know. <laughs> Go out shopping eight o'clock in the morning before they all wake up. Silver Garden Brew, everything's okay. Silver Garden Brew, yeah. Eric Grunland, yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. So just I'm just having having one of those moments. Eric Grunland, that's a, that's a really good that that's a really good um analogy. Is that what it's called? An analogy? Um of the situation. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like blowing out embers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um just just stand back and you know, let it all like time time's a great healer. Um and so is grass. <laughs> that makes sense. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm in the truck heading to Lord Bar. That's open tonight. Only hundred. And... What? How many miles? One thousand million miles to go, Trav. Where are you? Where are you going? Analogy. Ah, that's it. Less is more. Yeah. Right. I'm going to get some. Right. Um, where are we? So um, I need to go and get some beer. I've left some. I've left my cans in the. Uh, we're an hour in. I've left my cans in the fridge. So I literally just got to pop to the fridge. I'll grab four. Sorry, I'm going to mess about all night. I'll grab them for. I'm oh, so sorry. Name, name should be friends. Sex one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Home. Oh, well, it's lovely day, but not on. We've got to pick our trials. Well. Oh, Simon Wood. 217 likes. Yes. Awesome. Simon Wood. Right. I'm going to go get four cans out the fridge. So I'm not back and forth the fridge all night. I'll be back now.
Right. Okie dokie karaoke then. Got the beers. Right, beer. Okie dokie. Uh, 225 you in. Oh. I forgot. I, I haven't looked at the price of this. I think it's about £1.25 now. Uh, 450 of us left outside of Primworks to raise money for the... Oh, that's brilliant, Tom. That's brilliant, Tommy. Uh, what in the box are you getting? Another? Oh, Stephen Claxton. Um, Stephen, I'm glad you're in. I'm glad you're in, Stephen. Um, because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I had one of those memory fog moments. So, I spent all week, Stephen, all week reviewing your beers. I reviewed the last two today. So, all the beers are done. But on Monday, on the first, when I first started reviewing the beers, I had that memory fog thing. And I already kind of opened the beer. And I was, I was like... I can't remember who sent me the beer. And I, and I was thinking to myself, I was speaking to the guy on Friday on the live stream. So. So I, what I said was, um, thank you very much to the kind sender of the chant to the channel on the first two beers. And then the next day on the Tuesday, when I reviewed another two beers, my brain fog had gone. Every other review this week, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I've been, thank you very much, Stephen Claxon for the beers. But on the first day, so I did two reviews, I was like, thank you very much to the lovely sender. So my apologies, Stephen, uh, that, the first couple of reviews that you see, I've acknowledged, I've thanked and I've acknowledged, but I, my, my, I had memory, I had brain fog. Uh, how crazy sad that that's the that's going to think of care. Why don't we want to regenerate its community and take some pride, especially when it's your child at home? Uh, Jeffrey, yeah, um, right. If we wanted to move before, then it's kind of like definitely like it's like cemented, cemented, uh, um. Uh, like, like, well, basically, uh, we got my middle daughters doing GCSEs. They're in a very delicate time of their life in terms of GCSEs, really important time of life. I don't want to rock the boat. I, I said all this a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't, I don't want to kind of disturb things too much whilst said child is going through GCSEs and I just want to keep things settled, keep things kind of unky dory for now. But there's gonna come a time and like like that is kind of like cemented now in, 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 in complete cement that you know when we can, when we can we're out of here. We are out of here. Because I've lived I've lived in Caddick I've lived in this area all of my life. I lived in Caddickson all of my life. And um you realise, you realise that, and this might sound awful, this might sound awful, but you realise that maybe the situation's the situation because of, I've got to be very careful, um, Like, there's a big part of me that wishes that I didn't try and improve the area. Because it's all beyond helping. Does that make sense? It's like the reason it's in the situation it's in is because of 
Like I'm trying. I'm trying to find words for this. I'm trying to find words for this. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. That's it. You can't help people who do not want to be helped. You can't help them. It's 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 a it's a it's a complete. And I've learned it. I, I suppose I've learned, I, I, it's a complete waste of time. It's a complete waste of time. Energy, time, mental stress, all of it. Uh, move to Newcastle. I will go on a lash with you, mate. Paul Turvey, absolutely. <clears throat> that would be a look a decent tipple. And holding a strong head, uh, did not think much of the toffee ale from Aldi. The coffee is decent. Agreed, the doom by his pants. Um, uh, Gettos are not built. They are made. But, well, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, Billy. That is a brilliant comment, Billy. Brilliant comment. Vodka is, it is, it is ethanol, and that gets you drunk in beer. It's a poison, which is why you feel an evil. Ah, F1 starts again on Sunday. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Qualifying tomorrow. Um... Cheers in the black country. Ever tried it? Um, have you ever tried anything from the Nothing Bound Brewery? Love your energy. Uh, get yourself to Sunderland. Uh, we know a good beer when we see one. Have you tried that beer? Double Maxim. Adam. Double Maxim's a brilliant beer. I love it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wanting to live in a nicer place. Don't think of the people you're leaving behind, but the new people you will meet. David Dorrell. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Stone the Crows. Uh, cheers, Simon. Hope all is well. I went to Little today to try and get that wheat beer. It's a cracker for £1.29 a can, but my little was all out of them. They only had the Lager Shandy one and the Fest beer. Uh, Lee Jones. So, um, I bought 12 cans last week. <laughs> 12 cans and I went back this week and there was another eight can I, I took the other eight cans Psh, took them job done job done there is a benefit there is a benefit to to, to, to live in here and that is that that um like whew, beer good beer psh, it flies over the head you know it's like uh, did you feel the earth on the last Friday? Oh, the earthquake! No, I didn't. I was I was fast asleep. Uh, just wizards in America. Um, Rory Wagstaff. What, what do you think about the beer Baz? Bass. Oh, Bass. Bass ale. Um, first ever trademark. Trademark number one. Bass. That's the red triangle. It, I mean, it's not the same beer now. Now I think where all my wheat beer has gone. Ah, that, it's all gone. It's all gone down my neck, yeah. Um, Simon, how are you? I'm off. So I had a councillor officer come round and, see, and said to me, do you know what I'm saying? I said, yes, I'm talking so much. Hello, Brett. How are you doing, mate? It's a joke. Sorry. Oh, Johnny has the last bar open tonight. Oh, I see. I see. I was like, where's Trav going? I was, I was honestly like, where's Trav going? Oh, Stephen Claxton. Um, I, I did see something earlier um, and then I was in my talking, but I think you were saying, don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Um, all the beers are done. All the beers are done. I'll be honest with you. 
them Amundsen ninth birthday dessert stouts. They were all right. They were all right. <clears throat> uh, if you keep buying them, they'll keep getting them in on deliveries. Uh, and Max says, oh, brilliant. Uh, good evening, Simon. Nice to see the screen. Issue resolved. Mac, I'm doing this through an app called, um, or a website called StreamYard. FS says, FS, FS. F -S. I was talking about the Turkish beer there, wasn't I? Hi from Terso in Scotland. How you doing? How you doing? So, um, uh, Rory says, currently in Belgium, just wondering how you feel about blonde beer. Love it. Love a blonde beer. Not my cup of tea, but if you'd like any, would love some record uh, recommendations for us up here. Uh, just, just try the local stuff. Go to your craft beer bars in Belgium, cafe bars, and just, just try them all. That's my recommendation. Try them all. Uh, evening, dude. Uh, what do you reckon? The Hobgoblin Gold, one pound seventeen on that. One pound seventeen. We're back. The phone is ringing. The phone is ringing at, um, I don't know. Oh, the phone is ringing again. Um, I think we got some, we, we'll have to, whoa, look at that. Look at that, I could do that all night, you know. Uh, what's going on here then? Uh, landscape with evening sight. Like, Hello, the crap. Hello from Norway. How are you doing? Do you know what I probably need to do is... <laughs> right. Don't touch anything. I need to do something. I need to... Um... I'm on my phone, so I'm um, trying to work out how to turn my um, call data off. Uh, what I'll do, I'll probably buy an iPad one day. Um, nobody ever ring. I don't. I probably. I probably can get away with not having a mobile phone. I probably could. Just have an iPad. Do not disturb. Yeah. Yeah, do you know the problem is with that? Ah, no. Ah, well. Ah, well. Airplane mode. Well, you need you need the 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 Wi-Fi, don't you? You need the Wi-Fi. Do not disturb. Hello, Tarek. How you doing? Evening, Simon. Um, where's Evening, Simone? Where's Simon? <laughs> School headmistress. Hello, Christine. How are you doing? Um, need a, you'll need a big pair of pants to put your iPad in your pocket. Check it into airplane mode and then activate Wi-Fi. Right, Joe Stafford. Before the next broadcast, use airplane mode and then you can turn Wi-Fi back on. Simon Wood. That is perfect that is perfect <coughs> airplane mode wi-fi on i could i could do that forever i didn't know you could do that i could do that forever i would never have a phone call ever again in my life that that is that is that's like a dream for me that is like, <laughs> that's like a complete dream how's this so how's this and i's double ipa getting on um, I saw an um, update on the, the St. Ives double IPA. I sent, they asked for my um, branding, my Real Ale Craft Beer branding yesterday. So they're in can design mode at the moment. Um, can, it's going in the can again. Another can craft beer. Happy days. Thanks for asking, uh, Craft Beer Hub. Uh, 
Uh, so lots of people talking to Eric Grunland. Uh, Steve Stewart, Orchard Pig on the original Perfect Draft. Lovely, good health to you and yours. Steve, thank you. Um, it's good, says, hey, Simon, uh, what good beers you had recently? What have I had recently? I've, I've had some amazing beers from Stephen Claxon. So my favourite, Stephen, by far, by far, my favourite beer out of that box you sent was the track triple ipa mind-blowing beer mind-blowing beer um <clears throat> after a couple of them reviews i'm sure i had a bit of a snooze on the sofa i'm sure i edited the videos and i just kind of like sat back and <sighs> triple ipa like like, like i don't know it's still like 11 or 12 percent I, and I was like, it was it was one of those beers, absolutely incredibly drinkable, and it was like going down like water. And uh, and I think I closed my eyes for a for, <laughs> for a little while on the sofa while I was editing the video. In the impressive tall glass, this is a, a vice beer glass. Vice beer glass, and this is uh, I'm drinking the, the wheat beer from Lidl. Uh, haven't seen your day of double IP video yet. Um, had it a week or so ago, wasn't well, only first. How did you find it? Um, well, I think I was like, like really confused as to why they did a like a Paul Sykes tribute beer. I, I think they thought that nobody would kind of know. I think that they did it like, ah, all the people that drink beer, they probably won't know who Paul Sykes was. Does anybody know here? Does anybody know Paul Sykes? Not, not know him, of course, he's passed away now. But did, did, has anybody heard of Paul Sykes, British heavyweight boxer? Spent something like 21 years in prison. Hello, Rooney. How you doing, mate? How you, how you doing, Rooney? Um, hope the Lurvig one was good. Sold out straight away. <clears throat> oh, um, yeah, the coconut. I'll, I'll let you watch the review. Um, boxer, hard man. Steve Stewart, yeah. Simon Wood. Boxer from Wakefield. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, also, never shopping at Tesco ever again. I saw a rack on in there freezer today. Ooh. The numbers keep keeps the frozen food outside in a cargo container. Oh. Oh. Um, Simon has said the phrase. Thank you. Thank you so sorry, sorry. Obviously, we became a nerd in this going on where such sayings come from ah chris b says sykes is a legend um paul sykes was a known but in prison interesting man um james but i i don't know I, I i don't know you know i don't know any of that um simon i know you don't like draft guinness with the prancing horses but i've just opened the tin of o'hara's irish stout nitro and it's amazing so if you want to have um if you want to watch a funny video, if you want to, if you want, if you want to watch a funny video on YouTube, put in Paul Sykes parenting. Paul Sykes parenting. Oh my goodness me! You know, it's so funny. It's so funny. So, um, he sits his two boys down on the sofa. They've taken money. They've taken money out the out. You know, out of the mum's purse. And he sits him down. And he said there was two £10 notes in the purse. Um, one £10 note was taken. An £8 change was put back. Someone's had £2. Someone's had £2 out of your mum's purse. And they start grinning. Like, the kids start grinning. And he, <laughs> he's like... He's like, oh, okay. he starts going, he, you know, gives him a bit of a lecture. And then as they, he says, get upstairs type of thing. 
and then he and then he says to the camera, he says, I'm gonna have to beat him up. <laughs> he, 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 <coughs> he said, I'm sorry to say this, he said, but I'm gonna have to beat him up. <laughs> I obviously I put in Paul Sykes parenting. It was just like like <laughs> Uh, if you want to watch a funny video, then watch me eating hot chili. Aye, uh, yeah. Uh, Simon, my daughter, uh, hi, Simon. Uh, my daughter Ruby is five and it's been naughty. She is not going to bed. Uh, she said she will go to bed if you pretend to be an alien. <laughs> Right. How do I be an alien? Um, I be a Dalek. How can I be a Dalek? How does it go? I am a Dalek. I am a Dalek. <laughs> that's, that's my. That's my best. That's my best effort. <coughs> um. Uh, hello from Iraq. Hello, Brian. How are you doing? Uh, so I said two children. Uh, Paul said so two children who are both serving life sentences. Yeah, exactly. Simon Wood. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's well. What you say? What you say? Uh, finish the world's hottest shot. That was incredibly hot. Uh, put an ET mascot. I don't have one. Uh, Snow that crow. <laughs> uh, wondering how Simon. Just wondering how Simon ET is going to phone home in an airplane mode. Yeah, yeah. Paul Sykes had six wins, three losses, one draw. Not a good box. Yeah, I, I don't know to be honest. Um, these people, you know, this is the type of thing, isn't it? And and beer does the same thing. Beer does the same thing. It splits opinion. It splits opinion. Uh, who is your next collaboration with or brewery tour? Um, Stephen Glasson, where are we going next? Um, do you know, I, I haven't... Um, these things tend to happen. These things tend to happen at beer festivals. They tend to happen at beer festivals. So you turn up a, uh, at a beer festival. You speak to a couple of people. You have a chat and then what tends to happen is that um people realize you're then you know you know you, you're talking and you're having fun and then you're having a few beers and then the next thing you know you're speaking to brewers and and then they say oh you know you're having a good time and you know it just kind of like rolls and and then and then the next thing you know, you're going down to their brewery, you're brewing a beer with them, and there's no contracts. There's never any kind of like, you know, it's all it's never formal. With me, with me, it's a ne it's never a formal process. It's a case of like, I'll say to them, right, I'll come down, I'll promote your brewery, I'll show off St Ives and. And I'll show the brewery with your brewery tour and all these wonderful things. Uh, just, just, just do it for a train ticket and a hotel. And that's that. That's my kind of. That's how it goes with me. There's no. There's nothing kind of like I don't want to earn any money from it. Um, I don't want to. You know. I go for the good time. I go. I, I go for the good time, because. If I was to book a train ticket to St Ives, and if I was to book a hotel in St Ives, it, it you know, it probably cost a small fortune, wouldn't it? So, so I say to the brewer, book a train ticket, book a hotel, we'll brew a beer together. You know, if it sells fantastically well, um, wonderful, absolutely wonderful, and, and that's how it is. And there's no, there's no contracts, there's no written stuff, there's no like gold land shakes, and you know, none of that kind of stuff. 
I've been imported beers this week, all oh, thanks to the recommendation on the channel. Oh. Mike says thanks. Um, Dan says lol. Uh, going out for a mushroom of beef. Ooh, what's that? I may have gone for some time. Um, good evening, Squire. Um, I saw some mad stuff today on YouTube too. Oh, God, in a chicken shot. So I'm handy, you know, I'm not one of the guys. I'd be careful. Yeah, yeah. Mac, uh, beer makes a hard working week worthwhile on a Friday night. Mac, absolutely. Lived in the same street as John L. Gardner, who starts size. He was a lovely guy. Liked the beer, very modest. Um, Joa, hello, hello, Joa. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, it's good. It sounds like you're suffering a bit with the cough. Uh, I've got what? Well, I got something as well, so no beer at the moment. It's good. Oh, Simon Wood, Simon Wood for the like update. We got 245 likes, 245 likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Can we do five more likes? Five more likes for 250 likes. I'm on the stream yard. I can see everything else, but I can't see the likes. So if you can get five more likes in, we get the 250 likes. I'm sure one of you lovely people will tell me and job done. Max is fair play, Simon. Uh, will you be getting the pal mics for your guests? Um, Jack Bandit. You know, it's one of those things, isn't it? Um, I do a lot of stuff on my phone these days. I just put my phone in my pocket. It de-stresses me. Years ago, if I went to a beer event or a brewery, I'd have to pack tripods. I'd have to pack cameras, mics, batteries, chargers. Have I got everything? Have I, have I put everything in my bag? Then you're lugging a great big bag. And it's all very stressful. I tell you, what's making it more accessible for me these days is just put a mobile phone in my pocket and off we go. Let's go. Let's film it on the mobile phone. And, and you know, the thing with it, the thing with it is, if is you've only got to look at a Formula One video from 1980. Or a snooker match from the 1970s on the television. Even the 80s on the television. And the, the quality was atrocious. The quality was terrible. Absolutely terrible. The fact that these days you can grab your iPhone, put it in your pocket, dash down to St. Ives <coughs> on a train. And then, you know, you're just checking in a T-shirt. Into your hotel, you're checking in a couple of T-shirts, a couple of pairs of undies, a couple of pairs of socks. <laughs> <coughs> and a couple of pairs of jeans. That's all you're checking in. You're not checking in thousands of pounds worth of camera gear. You're not checking in tripods and mics and batteries and all this other stuff. And stuff that used to stress me out. It used to really stress me out. Like my anxiety levels used to go through the roof. I went um, I went to the Wrocław um, Beer Festival in Poland. <clears throat> and I went with um, a lovely chap called Tomek Kapira. Uh, my good friend Tomek Kapira from Poland. And he was all like willy nilly with it. He, he was like, he, he never like, um, it never used to bother him. Never used to bother him. He would leave like all of his, you know, he, he, he'd, oh, I'll leave my camera in your room tonight or, you know, or your, or my laptop and all this other stuff that he used to, because he used to edit on the go. He used to edit and upload on the go. <clears throat> but there was one time, there was one time where, because um, he, you know, we all like a few, this is the problem. This is the problem. We all like a few beers. We all like a few beers. I've left a, I've left a, 
thousand pound camera on a train before now, a Panasonic, and it went all the way down to Swansea. And I was on the phone, frantic. I was on the phone to the train people. Is the train's arriving into Swansea? Is it a bag above the hold all thing above? And they were like, Yeah, thankfully there is, and we'll put it in lost property for you. So I had to jump on another train from Barry, go all the way down to Swansea to pick up this 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 camera and then bring it all over. And it's just but the same thing happened with Tom and Capilla. So we you know, we all like a bit of a pint and more and whatnot. And and he couldn't remember where he left his camera. He couldn't remember where he, and, and I think this was like a three thousand pound camera. It was like the S5 or Panasonic S5 or something. And he couldn't remember if he left it in my room. He couldn't remember if he left it in his own room or he couldn't remember if he left it in, in, in another brewer's room. And I, the door was like boom, 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 boom. And I opened it. Tom would come in and, and he was like, have I, have I left my camera in here? And I said, yeah, 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 it's over there. It's over there. And he was like, oh, thank goodness for that. Put his camera on, shook my hand and, and you know, job done. He went and done his stuff and I come back to the UK. and But it... There's a difference with all of this. I was looking for my mobile phone now and I just realised that I'm live streaming on it. Um, if you've got a mobile phone in your pocket and if you use that mobile phone to film with, it's always in your pocket. It's like carrying around a pair of keys or your wallet. However, well, you know, however much you like a drink at a beer festival, you kind of wake up in the morning and your keys in your wallet, hopefully, uh, are always in your jeans pocket in the morning, aren't they? And that's the same, that's the same kind of situation with me and um, my filming these days is that is that I don't want that anxiety of have I left my plumbing thousand pound camera on a train or you know, tripods and all this other stuff. If it's in your pocket. You can go and do these things. You can go and do these uh, brewery tours and filming and whatnot. But the sound may not be great. The sound may not be great with all of this, but it, it helps my anxiety levels, you know. Uh, uh, good call. Loving the hairstyle, says Black Cat. I had one of the best cameras ever back in 2010 before phones had good cameras. I had a Kodak mini camcorder, 1080p, 60 frames a second, at £300. was worth it. Now I can do 4K60 on a phone. Chris, it's unbelievable, Christine, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Uh, if you help a more company, you are helping them, well, getting content for the channel. Win-win for both sides, absolutely. Uh, yeah, he is. So I, uh, when I started, I thought I need all the gear. Nowadays, if it's got not not filmed on the GoPro, it doesn't get filmed. Um, I only use that as my phone goes all day. But yeah. Uh, drinking a proper job, so AFC Masters. Lovely stuff. It is It is lovely stuff, um, proper job. Um, I've lost a few bags on buses and trains and taxis. Great, it happens, doesn't it? If you like a drink, it happens. Uh, hey, someone left a uh, Stradivarius violin on a train and they were... <laughs> well, yeah, 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 it happens. It, this is the thing. These things happen. If it's in your blooming pocket, it's less likely to happen. I left my wife on the train. <laughs> oh, I should... Sorry, Stu, I shouldn't uh, Half skip juice, bag of chills, slightly sea salted, and a stone crow on the box. Perfect. ADC. <coughs> uh, sorry, the only thing uh, you need are mics. The sound of voices left on the phone doesn't sound good. Quality, especially outside with all the external sound. I know. I, under I totally understand that, Neil Smith. I totally understand that. <clears throat> On the other side of it, we can record every day. I can record every single day. If I'm in my conservatory, if I'm in a brewery, if I'm in a beer festival, I can film every, I can film every single day. The sound may not be the best thing since sliced bread, but we're still filming every day. We're, 
we're we're bang at it every day. We're 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 doing what we possibly can every single day, and it still sounds better than the static stuff. If you watch some snooker matches from the nineteen eighties on the television on YouTube, some of it's static and it's terrorist. You can barely see anything. Right, uh, I missed that. Something about the Pell charging case. Simon Wood, where did that comment go? I'm going back, Simon Wood. But the new lapel mics come in a charging case the same size as the earbuds. Right, I'll look into it. I'll look into it, Simon Wood. If you can, I tell you what, somebody send me a link for iPhone lapel mics. And I'll look into it. Um, the technology in modern mobile phones are incredible. Uh, when I showed my old grandparents what was available, i.e. Google Maps, etc., they couldn't understand how far we have come. Honestly, big, it, it is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers how far we've come. <clears throat> Hi, I, I'm a new subscriber, so apologies if... You have mentioned this. Um, I live in Sale, and I've seen you wearing a Sale Sharks top in reviews. Are you a fan? Right, Gary. Um, Gary, how long have you been following Sale Sharks? Um, my cousin married a Cardiff Blue. His name was Nick McLeod. Now, Nick McLeod went on to play for sale sharks. I went up my grandparents' house one day and there was a bag for me. Now I do I used to do a lot of building work back in the day. Lots and lots of building work. I used to go through t-shirts and jumpers like nobody's business. So I had this bag of clothes and it was all of Nick and it was you know expensive stuff. Um, it was all of Nick McLeod's. He'd washed it, but it was all of his training gear from when he was at Sale Shacks. So it's actually, what I wear is a former Sale Shacks player. His actual blooming kit, like, you know, I'm wearing that. <laughs> what I'm doing, like, work in the garden or whatnot, I'm wearing an actual Sale Shacks, ex-ex Sale Shacks rugby player's shirt. And jumper and a coat. I, I had a coat as well, and all sorts of different stuff from from the former player. Now that's the story with the sale shark stuff. I get asked about that all the time. Oh, you Welsh! Oh, you Welsh! Do you support sale sharks? I'm like, I just, I'm just wearing some some nice thick jumpers in the winter. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a, I don't follow a club, to be honest. I don't, I don't follow a rugby club. Um. <laughs> <coughs> so, you know, it doesn't really kind of like, I, I don't, I, I've got no affiliation with, affiliation with a, with a, with a rugby club as such. Uh, how you do a video with a new Guinness, oh, the, uh, um, Oh, I might do. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't like Guinness, to be honest. I, 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 you could put. It's like I was using these machines when I was a pub manager seven years ago. It's like a vibrating thing, isn't it? And and you kind of like push a button, and the cat. I don't like Guinness. I don't rate Guinness enough to buy a thirty buck. Surgeon, it's just rubbish, and it? it's just get just a gimmick, a gimmick of, by Guinness, by Guinness. Um, brr. I gotta go for the toilet. I'm bursting from pee. Um, I bought a tw second hand Canon DSLR a couple of months ago. Used it once and used my iPhone 14 to take pictures because the picture quality is better. James else, it, it is unbelievable, isn't it? I bet none of us have left beer on the train. It's going to be a man cave, Stephen Claxton. It really is. Um, I'll talk about it more in a video, I suppose. That's the best thing. I have a Nikon DSLR camera 
which I love, but 8 out of 100 picks are perfect, with my Samsung phone 90 out of 100 and perfect, and in 4K. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to go the way of the Dodo, I think, and they them big cameras. Uh, I use a road um, go on mine a bit pricey, but good. <clears throat> Um, boom, 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 boom. Open what? Open the box. Oh, yeah, I will. I'll open the box. i got to go for a wee first, um, Big Kev. Hi from Slough. Christy Smallwood. Ah, I'm from Slough. I was in Slough three weeks ago. I was in Slough three weeks ago for a karate tournament in a community hall in Slough. Just off the motorway. Just off the motorway. Right. I've done pretty well. I am one hour and 42 minutes in. And I'm going for my first wee of the night. See you in two minutes. Um, where are we with the likes, by the way? If somebody can let me know with the likes, that would be wonderful.
oh, it's chilly out here tonight. It really is. Um, I was in the house and I went for a wee. And um, my wife wanted a little chat with me. And asked me how my night was going and whatnot. And I was, I was like, gosh, it's pretty hot in this house. Come out of the conservatory. It's like, whoa, glass roof, stone walls. Cold out here. It is. Right, we got 204 people watching the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, uh, a planet that has Pringles. Um, right, people talking to one another, that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to get a beer. <clears throat> I reckon it. Oh, Simon Wood, you are, you are the, and, and of course, Stephen Jeffrey as well, Steve Jeffrey. That, so we asked for. Did I ask for two fifty? I think I asked for. I, I can't even remember. Um, we're on two eighty. That's really flipping good, isn't it? That's really good. Here we are, right within the middle. Uh, oh, thank God. What? I'll read that in a minute. I, I'm just pouring a beer. i got to go back through the comments, haven't I? Right. Got, you got rid of the City Portrait Cam View. I will upvote. Ah, Stevie. Um, that was actually the YouTube app. Unfortunately, it was the YouTube app. Um, we're doing StreamYard tonight. Uh, finally managed to... Find some Guinness nitro serve cans. I'm about to pour myself one now. Enjoy, Jack Parry. You enjoy. Um, nice night in the Stone Crow, says Jack Bandit. Yes, cheers to you. And Simon Woods having a chat with Eric Grunland. Uh, James Alves, uh, what percentage is the beer? 5%. 5% ABV. Right, um, Steve, Steve says, absolutely brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Um, it is good beer. I like it. Uh, Sequel Film says, evening, Simon. And uh, Sirius Warner says, what's the largest electrical appliance you could throw over a pub? I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Electric car? I don't know. <coughs> If you grew a goatee beard, Simon, right now, you would be getting... <laughs> Big Kev. You got me wheezing, Big Kev. Uh... <coughs> Good God. Uh, ran out of the wheat beer. Now on the San Miguel. Ian's on... Oh. It's tough, isn't it, Ian? It's tough. It's a different beer. I bet you wish you drank the San Miguel first and you left the wheat beer till last because that is a difficult thing to do. Go from drinking really good wheat beer to San Miguel. Oh, God. Hairdress, I reckon. Uh, <gasps> Serious Walnut can use the chore to build up some momentum. <laughs> Drinking Fiber on Forest, Morph, Double IPA, great beer. Oh, sure. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, I tell you what I haven't asked all night. Um, have you had Dorado from Tenerife? I was drinking it while I was there. Good drop. Top draw. Would be bad drinking fizzy water. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I got a question for you all, and that question is: Where are you from, and what are you drinking? This could be had on Streamyard because the the comments come through in four comment blocks. But I'm determined to find out: Where are you from? What are you drinking? Uh, missing John from Lords. Uh, got my subscription box. Subscription boxes. 
Oh, three cans of Stone Crow, three cans of Brandon Car, three bottles of Weekend Driver bottles, and three LA Speed Check bottles. Perfect. Steve, I'm on the polar beer the other day. Oh, here we go. Right, right. This is weird. Woking, Ascot, Wisconsin. Then we got another block. Brighton, Tiny Rebel, and Spain drinking uh, Agua. <coughs> Dorada. Uh, Strat Stratford upon Avon on the Purity. Uh, Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield again. Two Sheffields in a row. Um, Kid Kildare Beer Guy is in Kildare. Liverpool. Ula in Finland. Uh, someone's in drinking vocation. This is difficult. I apologize. Um, Liverpool. Hawks on Lager. Uh, Canada, Kildare, um, do you use your beer machines anymore, Simon? Uh, kind of, kind of. Um, hop, skip and juice in the Fens, Norway on the Paulinus, says Andreas. Well, oh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Oh, yeah, they come. Um, Flat Earth um, is drinking uh, Tree Dude. Um, from Land Tristan, drinking Brewdog Punk IPA. Um, Szechuan. Lamb Brown Brewery Beer, Borsa, and uh, Ho Garden. Um, Miku is from Finland, drinking good old Weisterfan and brilliant beer, Weisterfan. And Manchester, another double hazy, says Chris B. Uh, Mark is drinking from the Perfect Draft on Stella. Big Kev's on the Ashley Haywood, indeed. Uh, Stuart Preston is on the Newbury Berkshire, drinking Northern Monk Faith. Lee is drinking um, War Steiner in Kent. You know, this isn't bad. It's not too bad. I think I've messed up Big Kev's mind. I think he was talking to somebody. I don't think he was drinking Ashley Hayward. Right, we got some more. Newbury in Berkshire drinking Northern Monk Faith. Uh, Lee was drinking uh, War Steiner. Ian is drinking San Miguel in Glasgow. Uh, Buckinghamshire on the Francis Garner, Beer Fan TV. Oh, Simon Wilson, we're on 287. Can we hit 300 likes? That's perfect. And we'll carry on with that in a moment. Um, Steve Jeffries in Burton on Trent uh, was on Little Fest Beer, now on Patronus. It's good. I'm drinking the same kind of similar stuff to you. Uh, we are all living the dream, Simon. Uh, oof, they're coming through thick and fast now. Florida, Cigar City, Devon on the Raven Black. Oh, they're going to really quick. Richard Wilson, even if Simon, will he be at Brew London this year? Hopefully. Jane Irwin, this year, Jane Irwin on the Earl Grey Tea. Christine as is having a chat with Lee. Earl Grey tea. Hey. Well, it, it is early where you are, so perhaps you can wait for another couple of hours before you crack your first beer out, Christine. Christine? Jane. Jane. Christine was the one below um, in the comments box. We got 209 people in, which is fantastic for a Friday night, isn't it? Fantastic. Uh, Kohama, still drinking O'Hara's Nitro Stout, Chocolate Stout by Jeffrey. Daniel Shields is on the War Steiner, two pound a bottle. It's a, it's a, I, I agree, it's a brilliant lager. War Steiner is a brilliant lager. Chris, oh, pardon me, Chris is in ex Essex drinking Old Speckle then. Um, I want some of those glasses if they fit the perfect draft site. Any idea where I can get a few? Right. They fit the perfect draft. You've got to remove the drip tray. They will just, and I mean, I'm just showing, I'm just doing it now. They slip under by. It's like that much. You've got to remove the drip tray. These are vice beer glasses. W-E-I-S-S-B-I-E-R. 
rice beer glasses. Just just Google it. Stick it into Amazon. You'll find it. You'll find them. Tall, slim. There's a purpose for them. There's a real purpose for them. Um, I've tried drinking vice beer out of a normal pint glass, and the stuff just doesn't taste the same. It really, really doesn't taste the same. They've got to be tall, slender, with that bulb at the bottom. Um, the idea is that it's like a chimney. It's a chimney effect. It's it's the aroma of that banana and the clove. It's all firing out the top of the glass like an old chimney. And it makes such a difference. So whirling that beer around in the glass now, you're creating that chimney effect. All that aroma is going to be about there. And then you... Oh, and it's fabulous. Banana, clove, spices. And then when you drink it, because you're holding the beer around the bulb... You're not warming the beer up. Your hand, the surface of your hand is not warming that beer up. You know, you're not like cradling it, eh? You're not warming it up. So there's only a small surface area of, of, of I mean, these glasses have been designed for this very beer. And you can see why. It's my favourite glassware. Vice beer glasses, my favourite glassware. Don't worry, Mac. Don't you worry at all. Um, best in the business. Championship manager. Oh, what a game that was. Um, good advice as to why the glass helps the beer flavours. No, absolutely. Uh, who would play Simon in a Hollywood film? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those things, isn't it? Let's go back to the previous subject. Now, there's a movie being made right now. They're just about to start. <coughs> They're just about to start filming. And I'm, I'm, I, only because of this beer that I've done a bit of research. This Dea Paul Sykes beer. They're about to start filming a Paul Sykes movie about his life. It was an eventful life. They're about to make a movie about this guy. If you asked Paul Sykes when he was alive, do you think somebody will make a movie about you? He would probably say no. Why would somebody want to make a movie about me? It's one of those things, isn't it, where I think movie makers will make a movie about about somebody like Paul Sykes. People who, what's the word? People who do things differently. People who, like, take a different view on life. Like the dentist telling me I shouldn't drink. The doctor telling me I've got to have these tablets. Is it going to change my perception? Is the dentist telling me that I might have or I might get in the future oral C? The big C. So I went to the dentist on Tuesday and the dentist said to me, oh, you're drinking 10 pints a week, which is very conservative. I just wrote down whatever number come in my head at the time on my dentist form. I wrote down 10. I should have written down 40, really, shouldn't I? If I'm honest, if I'm honest. I've drunk five pints tonight. Have I? One, two, three. Not quite. I've drunk three pints tonight. What I'm trying to say is, Nothing's going to change the road that I'm heading down. Does that make sense? I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm good at, and that, and that is reviewing beer. 
if I've got to now take some medication for my gastro fluxing silent reflux, whatever it is, then so be it. So be it. I don't blame anybody out there though who might have had or, or been diagnosed with this silent reflux thing and, they, and they've gone oh do you know what um i'm probably gonna hold back on the drinking a little bit i'm probably gonna like slow down a little bit but um i, I don't want to I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I, I was just reading uh, Jack Bandit's really good comment there. Um, and then it's, it's good to say it's all genetics. Um, as long as you're not silly and get checked out regularly, you might as well enjoy your life. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, uh, so much of your health is genetics. Uh, you you have to do a lot of damage to your health. Uh, just be sensible. Enjoy it. Exactly that. Enjoy your life. Well, what's what's um, what's been kept in? So my dad recently died from the big C. He was standing under the doorway of Comet. <laughs> I'm not going to read the rest. <laughs> I'm not going to. Big Kev. <laughs> I can't even think of. I can't even take a sip of my beer now from laughing. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is if in 50 years' time, when I kick the bucket, somebody wants to make a movie about me drinking a million different beers then then you know you, you can't stop that can you i just hope they do some live streams <laughs> look after your gut simon absolutely <laughs> Let's say this thing. <laughs> I'm all right. This is this damn cough. <coughs> this is damn cough. So I got a plan. I got a plan. I really have. I got a plan. I've done it. <laughs> Big Kev, you got me rolling round here. You got me rolling. Let's try and have a moment. <laughs> <coughs> I've lost all track of thought. He's got, gosh, he's finally lost the plot. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Do you know the worst thing about this? Is this, this, this laughing? <laughs> The, the laughing fit 
he's, he's making my coffee thick words. Oh. <coughs> the laughing fit is making my coffee fit worse. So I'm just <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm drinking Tesco's cheapest beer, Tisky. I'm not laughing. I promise you, I'm not laughing. <sighs> um, which seems to be the most common beer while I'm in <laughs> Gdansk, Poland. Who else is laughing? I guess. I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is, uh, has anyone has anyone seen Big Ken's comment though? That that made that you know in life, sometimes in life, like <laughs> something honestly gets your humour, gets you like you've had a couple of beers and your humour like is off the scale. <laughs> I I was imagining flipping. I, I started reading Big Ken's going my my dad. The big C, and I'm thinking, oh God, this is going to be a hell of a comment. Yeah, how am I going to deal with this? And then it turns into a joke. It like flips into a joke, and it's like, I completely lost the plot. Completely lost the plot. Uh, anyone else seen the new Eddie Stoban movie? Neither have I, but I've seen the trailer. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, <laughs> I will would, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> see, close your eyes and see the big comment sign. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta read Big Kev's next comment now. My, my, my dad did die. Oh, uh, and he loved that joke. Ah, uh, Big Kev, I mean, <clears throat> what a night. Big Kev's just, just absolutely nailed the Stone Crow tonight. He really has. Uh, awesome. Big Kev, man. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I've been told the same as you, but I'm single and it's my only vice, so I'm cracking on. Cheers. Chris Deal. Um, <clears throat> right. I live... So, I have a wife and three girls. It's really tough. This is a tough one. On a very serious note, this is a tough one. Because as anybody else out there who I'm speaking to now, the 208 people who are watching right now, do you live with girls? And I mean that with the greatest of respects. Do, do, do. So I have a wife and I have three kids. Um, yeah, it's like the dinner, the dinner conversations. The the it's it's difficult. The, and 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 once um, my eldest, she's wonderful. She's twenty one. She she's an adult. She's she's different she's she's you know she's gone she's flown the nest and all that kind of stuff but i got one now doing a gcse who's 15 and she's getting into politics and she's getting into all of this kind of like oh this is a tough subject this is a really tough subject let me get simon wood's super chat first and then we'll get back into it this is going to be a tough subject and this is going to this is going to divide opinion. This next subject is going to really divide opinion. Um, Simon Wood, £20 Super Chat. Um, if I could send this to Big Kev, I would. <laughs> what a great laugh. Simon Wood, unbelievable. It, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Simon Wood, for the Super Chat. And, of course, last week's Super Chat was, was just, you know. Um, last week, you guys made my February. You absolutely made my February. February is the shortest month of the year. And for YouTubers, that short month normally equates to a smaller paycheck. Um, sorry to be crude. Sorry to be um, overly honest. But last week, um, 
it was like a pre-Christmas super chat. The super chats had come through, and it really helped. It it was like it kind of like leveled up the month more than more than leveled up. It was it was it kind of like made January. It made February. It was brilliant. So thank you, thank you very much for the super chat. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to dwell on all these the super chats and stuff. Um, right. This is going to divide opinion. Um, so, right, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you now because um, dinner times, tea times, dinner times, is well, we're all sat around the table, you know, the wife, uh, me, 12-year-old daughter, 15-year-old daughter doing GCSEs. And she likes her. She's new to it. She's very green to it. All this politics, all this kind of like... I don't want to say the word. It's a four-letter word. It's a four-letter word beginning with W. And it comes up all the time. It comes up all the time. Are you W O K E? Are you not W O K? And it's like it's like a flipping. It's like it dominates. It flipping dominates the the tea table. It, it do So I'll, I'll I'll spend an hour making a, a lasagna. And then the, we all sit down eating this lasagna or this bolognese or this curry or something, and 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 then it, it's a it's a conversation of like, oh, um, did you see in the news today that somebody said this and 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 somebody said that and 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 I literally I, I know what to do now. I just get my head down. I normally got my hair in a ponytail. I got I put my head down and I just start eating. And I'm like sucking up spaghetti and <laughs> you know I'm eating as fast as I can. I'm eating all the mince like like it's like a conveyor belt. It's like <laughs> I'm Scott I'm getting this food down me as fast as I possibly can. And as soon as I finish now I leave the table. I leave the table. I I, I and I go, excuse me, I've had my dinner. I got like literally lasagna sauce all over my face it's in my hair it's in my face i've literally like lashed it all up as fast as i possibly can and i go i'm going to put my plate in a dishwasher and i'm going to leave the dinner table because it's just it's just a continue it's like it's like um it's a real struggle it's it, 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 it's a real struggle because um like we never had these conversations when we were young we never had these conversations. We never had these like, like, is someone upset? Is someone not upset? Have you upset someone? Have you upset a side? Have you upset? And 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 I'm really, I, I'm really struggling with modern society because what I find, what I find, the biggest thing of, out of all of this is that I sit on my own. I tend to like eat my food as fast as I can. I put my plate in the dishwasher and I'll come and stand in this bar or I'll I'll sit in the corner of the the house like and, and I'll just like like stay out of it. This whole like it's it's like eggshells all the time. All of the time. It's like eggshells all of the time. And it's really tough. But then, but you know, you, it gets ingrained in you. It gets ingrained in you. So in January, I went to a pub called The Buck. And I went to, I haven't been, I haven't been in a local Barry pub. Like a proper, I mean like spit and sawdust. Proper spit and sawdust, no meals, you know, bit of a tough reputation. But I went I, I went in the buck in Barrier 
And I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life. People effing and blinding at me. People effing and blinding at me. People kind of like telling all the rudest jokes in the world. And, and you know, being offensive. And, you know, it was like, it was like normal life. Normal life. Offending, you, you know. You would call them, they would call you something, you'd call them something. I was playing pool. I had a good good night playing pool. And I was beating a lot of people. And this one guy, he said, you're an absolute... He called me the scene. And I, and I you know, flipping it. You know, job done. J job done. Um, you know, and he was a bit mad because he lost his pool game. But he put another pound on the table and, you know... We shook hands and we had another pint and he bought me a pint and he bought me a shot. Then he bought me a Jaeger bomb. And 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 it was all back to, you know, it's like, maybe I need to, like, go to these spit and sawdust pubs a bit more often and play pool and, like, you know, live on the edge a little bit more. Like, I, it, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not on either side. I'm not. I, I'm not on either side. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not W, I'm not anti-W. I, but I tell you where I am. I tell you where I am with this. I'm sick of flipping talking about it. I'm absolutely sick to death. I'm sick to death of hearing people who have who've been upset and people who are not upset and people who can kind of take it on the chin and people who can take it on the chin and, and, and it's exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. It was a breath. It was a breath of fresh air to go into a pub, win a game of pool, and because you won that game of pool, somebody pointed at you, called you a C-U-T, called you that because they lost the game, and everything's empty dory everything's flipping, job done, thumbs up, you know, play you again in 20 minutes' time, you know? I'm praying. I, I, yeah, I can't say. The thing is, it's like, I, I know what I am with YouTube. So, so last week's live stream... Um, first time ever. I don't know. Did I say anything bad last week? So, so last week's live stream, um, the ads were taken off it. It was a um, an ad restricted live stream. I don't know. I don't know what I said last week to cause that to happen. I don't know what I what I maybe overly said or only said or or. You are spot on. Um, you can't have conversation with anyone in the void without offending. Power hubs, a few of our between. I miss it. Going to a pub and having a laugh. Absolutely, Chris Deal. Yeah. yeah. Something going on. Uh, for losing your <laughs> Um There's uh, yeah. uh, no one on the left. With God, I uh, should have gone to one of the persons who is slower. Three times is a problem, I felt that will make a man of you. What's Big Kev saying? He's having a chat with Paul. Um, ah, I, I haven't, I've been, I've been on one, haven't I? So I've been talking without looking at comments. People pull their phones out and start recording, and it's suddenly a victim. Well, oh, Dylan, yeah. <laughs> Uh, probably that mad one. Oh yeah, we had um, yeah. So it was it was last week's live stream. Yeah, we had the advertising thing taken off. Um, well, whatever one there, whatever, whatever, whatever I said or whatever. Um, there we are. We got rid of that line. Whatever I said or whatever somebody else said. Um, yeah, it, it was restricted. The ads were restricted. So i got to be careful. I So you know what I mean by the C word. Um, lost the game of pool. 
Um, I can't, I don't want to use the W word either, just in case. The problem is the people uh, W are the ones that have no idea about growing up in the wrong body and the social curse that it entails. Ah, beauty beer reviews on the vodka. Flipping egg is a massive like a wolf out there tonight. Uh, where are we? Um, I, I, what's that the middle thing? Um, breaking the breaking the um curse, breaking the breaking the seal. Uh, The W word, will you <laughs> Paul Fish? Paul. Oh, you know, that, 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 you know, that. Oh, I won't say it. I won't say it. I'm not either. I'm not for. This whole conversation started with, like, awkward, like, dinner. Perhaps. I tell you what. Perhaps it's just a case of, like, like, like I, I'm just in this situation I'm in personally, where the kids are growing up in this world, and 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 they're, they're like, you've offended someone, or they've offended you, or you know, or, oh, it's almost a, it's like the rabbit hole. That's the trouble. It's like the rabbit hole. I watched um. I watched a thing on uh, television last week regarding uh, James Bond. They want to they want to change the James Bond books, or they want to change the Roll Dahl books, or something or other. And you, this, this is the problem, isn't it? You can't have an opinion on it. You can't you can't have an opinion on it because. Some people think you're right. Some people think you're wrong. Like, uh, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, like uh, James Bond, how many people does he shoot in the in the movies? And it's a fictional, it's a fictional thing, isn't it? He's a fictional character. It's make believe. It's all make believe, but but. Yeah, they want to change the books or something like that. Like Roald Dahl, I don't know what what, they, what what do they want to do? They want to change Naughty or something? I I don't know. I I, I don't know why why um, I find it also very confusing. I find it also very confusing. I really I really do. I mean, if there was some mega crazy stuff in a in a in a James Bond book. And they decided that they had to change it. Then, 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 so be it. But I, I can't. I don't know. I've never, to be honest with you, I'll be perfectly. Honest, I've never read a James Bond book. I've never read a James Bond book. I watched the movies. I've never read the books. But apparently, they want to change the text of the books. Uh, people been uh, trying to cut, uh, otherwise, yeah, uh, another issue entirely. Yeah, yeah, people are entitled to opinions and they can't be allowed. To, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's a thing, I think I'm not. <laughs> right. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have one more beer, but first, but first, before I have one more beer, I've got to go and have a wee. I'm bursting.
Right, okie dokie, karaoke then. It is the witching hour. It is officially the witching hour. Um, please, I'm going to open my last can of beer of the night. Um, I've had a few. It's Friday night. I might say the wrong thing. You know, I might say the wrong thing. But please do not capture some video. Please do not share it with your friends on WhatsApp. Um, this is Friday night. It's the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. This is not for grabbing little minuscule bits of video and sending it to your friends on WhatsApp. This is the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, and this is about having some fun. Having some fun and enjoying life, yeah? And I can only enjoy life. I can only enjoy life if, if I'm in that, that kind of confidence of, of we're all in this together. We've all had a bit of a drink, and let's not take life too serious. Here we go. Here we go. So, £1.29 a can, apparently, this is. It used to be, this used to be, oh, flipping neck. This used to be like 99 pence. It went from, it used to be just called regular Patronus. Um, it was 99 pence. Then they changed it to their wheat beer. I quite like the, the branding. I quite like it, but it's definitely the Patronus brand beer from um, Lidl. Um, it's now, it went from one pound, uh, sorry, 99 pence to about one pound 10. Then it went to one pound 20, one pound 25. Apparently now it's one pound 29, one pound 29 a can. Still a terrific bargain, I think, for what you get in the glass. Um, has anyone bought from Discount Dragon? Oh, no. What's that, Simon Wood? Discount Dragon. ADC. What happens in the Stone Crow stays in the Stone Crow. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Nose Chain says it's the end of the beginning. Mm. Oh, it's a lovely point. It is a really good point. Really good point. Right. Um, a four-finger head progressing as the night goes. Uh, what do you think about Guinness? I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Never really will be a fan. Um, just it's marketed beyond belief. Um, it's not really a stout. It's not really a porter. What is it? It's like a caramelized. Guinness is like a, a sweet caramelized beer, as far as I'm concerned. It didn't taste, there's no real roasted malt flavors coming through. It's just black. It's the black beer that doesn't taste of any roasted malt. <clears throat> Paul Holy says, I'll drink to that. Uh, beer pushes the carbonation around the glass. <laughs> <clears throat> Susie is saying, is anybody into poetry? And Eric says, why so serious? As Heath Ledger said, as the Joker in the Dark Knight. Well, exactly, yeah. Um, Simon, have you helped brew an IPA? If so, or not. What three hops would did you use Jack Pandit? Uh, Jack Pandit, you're, you're testing me now because you've probably seen the St. Ives Brewing Company video that I released just this week. And off the top of my head, the hops we used in that double IPA brew, off the top of my head, were Citra. And it was an experimental hop, like an X, one of those HP3O type hops. 
that we used. <clears throat> and the last hop was um, Centennial, maybe? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I've had a few beers, right? All I found so was cloudy rice beer from Perlenbacher. <clears throat> the, the the Patron is good. It's good beer for the money. It really is good. But one pound twenty nine, it's cracking beer for the money. Oh yeah, I, I yeah. Um, well, so there's a bit of dead lit on the back end. I I could I don't know. This is the thing. This is the thing. Um, I don't even know what that word means, Ross. I don't even know what it means. I I, I don't even know if like like I live life. from one day to the next i don't wake up and go right i'm gonna become this or i'm gonna become that or i'm gonna be left or i'm gonna be right i don't live my life like that i really don't i live my life like like whatever absolutely whatever what i don't like what i don't like is sitting at the dinner table and and all of this basically that whole conversation come from like 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 just constantly like like oh this celebrity's come out and they've said this and then that and then this and and it's like it blows my mind literally i got my head down i got spaghetti flying in my face as fast as i can and i'm leaving that dinner table and and that's it that's it i'm not i'm not that f word you mentioned I, I, I'm not left. I'm not right. I'm not. I just don't want to hear it. I just don't want to hear it. I want to go outside. I want to have a look at that blue sky. Maybe see the odd cloud. I want to see sunshine on my face. I want. I want to enjoy a beer. And and I, and I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't really care what's going on because this is the thing. This is the thing. As much as people want to discuss it, and as much as people want their opinion on matters, it's not going to make a damn bit of difference. It's not going to make a damn bit of difference. What I think, what my really passionate 15 year old daughter thinks, what my wife thinks, it shouldn't dominate, it shouldn't dominate the dinner table. I'd rather, I'd rather sit at the dinner table and look out the window and go, what a nice bit of food we got here. We got some mince, we got some spaghetti, the sun shining. Why don't we all vacate to the garden after and all, all share a beer together and have some fun? But it's never, it's never like that. It's always like, rah, rah, this celebrity, this celebrity's done this or... This celebrity has done that and, 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 and flipping Donald Trump's done this or, or Boris has done that or, or it's like, it's always like, it's always sort of flipping like, 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 just like, I don't care. I literally don't care because nothing that I think will change anything. Nothing that I think, nothing that I, like, if I had a massive opinion about it, if I was really passionate about it, stuff still happens, stuff still goes on. <laughs> Whether, it's just like, I just want to see the sun shining in the sky and have a beer in my hand and maybe have a cheese toasty. And I think that's where it's going to go eventually. I think that's where my life will go. 
Um, I want my life to be as easy and as and as like easy going as possible. You know, I want to lay in a hammock. I want to lay in a hammock all day long. Or maybe not all day long because I've got YouTube videos to make. But I don't want to worry about offence. I don't want to worry about, like, electric cars or diesel or oil or global warming or how many miles of I used uh, carbon neutrality, carbon dioxide, carbon this and 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 like because I recycle. I recycle my, my stuff. I, I, I put everything in the re right recycling box. Um if I can walk to a pub I'll walk to a pub if I can get on a train I'll get on a train um, but on the, on, the, on, the, on the same wavelength I don't want to spend my time worrying about like carbon stuff and and, and net neutrality and carbon offsetting and offensive stuff and what nearly said it and 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 like debates on the tv and debates online and debates on instagram and debating like one celebrity versus another, another celebrity i don't care about none of that i don't care about any of that stuff all of that stuff has been put there to muddle people's minds, to muddle people's minds. I want to have my breakfast. I want to have a coffee in the morning. I want to make, make a load of YouTube videos in the morning. I want to process them videos in the afternoon. Once them videos are processed, I'll go for a walk. I'll go for a two hour walk and I'll enjoy the birds singing in the trees. And I'll enjoy the water, the, the, lapping up over Barry Island and I'll enjoy the fact that there's a public toilet open so I can have a wee after doing my beer reviews in the morning and I'll, I'll just enjoy the small things you know the little things in life the little things in life I'll, I'll enjoy those little things in life the fact that I can get out and walk for two hours a day and then on a weekend I just want to enjoy a beer. I really just want to enjoy a beer. And all of this confusion in life, all of this kind of like, all of this, like, because the, the, the thing is, and this is me just being perfectly honest with you. The thing is that I, is that I find myself like, I try to get pulled into an argument, not my, by me, but by other people. It's like, oh, what do you think, Dad? And it's like a loaded question. It's loaded. It's like, like, oh, what's your opinion on so and so saying so and so about so and so online or on the internet or the news or and and it's like I've learned now, head down, scoff your pasta into your face as fast as you can. Leave a dinner table. Leave a dinner table. Right, I'm going to go, there's a million comments. I'm going to go all the way down as fast as I can. So, wow, there's so many comments. Uh, I don't know, let's see. See what they know. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Carbon is a scam to make money. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of crap. And exactly, exactly that, Christine. Exactly that. Um, if you've got a bit of common sense about you, all this off carbon offsetting, carbon offsetting, it's just here's one. Here's one, and I'm very passionate about this. This is something I'm very passionate about because I love nature. I love nature. Right, I live on what was the old Barry Docks. And on the old Barry Docks, they're building, they've got rid of all the old warehouses, they've all gone. They flattened the warehouses, they put a load of drainage in, loads of infrastructure, and they're building apartment after apartment after apartment. That's absolutely fine. That is absolutely fine, as far as I'm concerned. Because people have to have somewhere to live. It's a growing population. People have to have somewhere to live. My problem, and this is my biggest problem, is that they have to when they when they build apartments or, and houses, they have to plant a certain amount of trees in the apartment block, in that vicinity, in that area, in the housing estate. They have to plant a certain amount of bushes and trees and wildlife and all that kind of wonderful stuff that we love. But once they plant the tree. And they generally plant it in the middle of June or July. The middle of June or July. When we're in the, the biggest like heat cycle of the UK. And you literally, because I walk every day. I walk around Barry Docks every day. And I, and I see this development happening because I'm excited about it. I am genuinely excited about it. But they plant that poor tree in June or July. And there's no follow on. Nobody comes along and waters that tree because that tree needs X amount of pints of water to be able to stay alive. And you probably see it where you live. You probably see it where they build a, an estate they plant a tree and they just, that's it. We've done our job. We've planted that tree. What needs to happen, and I'm very passionate about this, what needs to happen is a follow-on project of people with watering cans. It wouldn't take much, would it? It really wouldn't take much with watering cans to follow on from these housing estates, Barrett, Persimmon, these, these, these massive, massive, multi-million pound companies is to go around for at least two months out of a boiling hot summer. We've had some boiling hot summers in the UK to go around with a watering can and just to water them damn trees that they planted just to give them half a chance. Half a chance. But that's not in their contract. That's not in there so in like planning when they put that planning application in the planning goes in we will plant x amount of trees what happens to those trees after is none of our business honestly that's how it goes none of our business what the what the councils should do is say hey OK, you planted that tree, water the damn thing, water it for at least two months. And once that tree is watered, job done. That's the only thing that I care about. That is the only thing that I care about. I don't care about all of this other stuff that's going on in the world. I don't care about American presidents. I don't care about UK Prime Ministers, all of that for me, I don't care. 
I don't care. Plant a tree. It's like it's like putting a man. It's like putting a man in the desert, and then giving that man the water. It's like right there you go. Carbon offsetting. We've planted a thousand trees. Yeah, yeah. Water the damn things in the summer. Anyway, anyway, I, I imagine this is massively boring and 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 and. Uh, plant tree inside of here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, completely get aside. Uh, trees give us oxygen. Uh, more trees are better. We need to look after them. <laughs> Simon Woods waiting for Big Kev to save us. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Right, I've had enough of my soapbox. My soapbox is gone. I've got rid of the soapbox. Hello, Brian Partridge. How you doing, Brian? Gribber. See, now, now they, these are the things that I don't really care about. I care about the trees that go in after Gribber. Honestly, I don't care about who fills them. Good, nothing to do with me. That they, they'll survive quite, quite, quite well. Uh, just read Christine's comment. Well, I mean, yeah. We talk about this all day long. Um, right, I tell you what. Should we bring it back to beer? Oh my goodness me, it's 10 to 10. 10 to 10. Oh, look at this. We're doing all right. I mean, you, I always enjoy this witching hour. I always enjoy this witch now, I really do, because I think it's like gloves off, say what you want. Nobody's going to WhatsApp it, you know. It's not going to get WhatsApped around. And it's just, it's just fun, isn't it? The witch you know. I love, I love the witch you know. It's great. Um, spend a month in a developing nation where they buy an individual egg or shampoo because it, or they can afford and then say stop single use things. Well, this is it, Simon Wood. This is it. This is it. Um unfortunately we need to talk about it uh to be aware of it so we can stop it. Come to Finland, we are full of trees, lakes. Oh yes. And uh, but this is bad beers. Is you know, Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, are you having another? If so, I will pour another for myself. So, uh, Mac, I plan to sign off at 10 o'clock. I plan on signing off in about eight minutes. Eight minutes. Um, so, uh Again, kids have been in school all week. Um, wife's been working in a pharmacy all week. Um, I could I could quite happily stand here till twelve o'clock. Personally, on a personal note, I could stand here till twelve o'clock, no problem whatsoever. I'd be all over the place. I'd be flipping all over the shop. But but I could <laughs> <coughs> I could quite happily stand here till twelve o'clock. But <clears throat> um, the trouble is, if I get absolutely off my trolley, I snore, and apparently I snore like an elephant. Apparently, I'm like full on, and 
it wakes the kids up, it wakes the wife up, and it causes all sorts of aggro and But I've had, I've had five pints. I've had five, five pints in three hours. That's not, it's not, it's not a bad thing, is it? It's not a bad thing. <clears throat> Silver bullets, yeah, Christine. Uh, another great night, Stone Crow. Brilliant, Steve. Thank you very much, Steve. <coughs> where's all these? Where's I've messed around with the comments. Oh, what have I done with these comments now? Uh, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Ask must be well aware for a week. <coughs> what am I drinking? I'm drinking a vice beer from Lidl. Steve Jeffy says he'd love to see my hair at 12 o'clock. It'd be all literally like... <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be up, yeah, Steve. <laughs> it'd be all over the blooming shop, wouldn't it? <laughs> like Neil Warnock. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. Sleeping on the sofa, ah, it's just not enough bedrooms, you know. I I have my own flipping bedroom. I drink myself, drink myself till I'm happy, and then just knock myself out and sleep in a spare bedroom or something. But there's no room. It's a terraced house. It's a blooming normal regular terraced house i mean where are you gonna put a bed there's no downstairs toilet you're a creep upstairs ah oh, it's just not worth a flipping aggro it's not worth a flipping aggro exactly chris deal about the surrounding areas yeah uh we love to see you Simon Wood said we got 339 likes, which is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, your wife would cut my hair. Cool. John Smith. He must be the local... Um, Counselor, <laughs> uh, whatever happened to Joe? Yeah, Matt Foley. Wow, I think people go back to their normal lives, don't they? Uh, Big Kev said, You never opened the box. I never did, did I? I never did. Where are we now? What's the time? You know, I got three minutes now. Tong po, tong po. Um, I've got three minutes and then I'm out of here. Paul Hawley says, thanks for the entertaining evening. Um, yeah, Loki's still, he's still here. He's kind of like, he does a lot of sofa sleeping these days. He's a, He kind of like gets up. Pees all over the tiles and then go <laughs> gets back on the flipping sofa where he scratches the damn thing, and then you got to buy a new. <laughs> yeah, um, I love. It. Well, we're not going to get into animals. I won't talk about animals. I won't. I won't talk about animals in a house anymore, ever again. Uh, it's been nice, but don't overcook it, Si. Steve, I, I won't overcook it, man. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. 
Uh, any plans for a late one, uh, like 12 a.m.? No, 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 no. I've just been explaining that whole situation of, of sleeping on sofas and creeping up the stairs to the toilet. And I used to go out the back, but um, I can't go out. <laughs> I can't. If I start peeing out the back now, good God. Um, does anyone else... Leave the empties on the table for the morning. So it looks like you've had a... Yeah, yeah, it's five on wood. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've got them all here. I've got all my empties in front of me. All my empties are here. So I'll leave them. I'll leave them all over the, the bar. And then job done. Job done. So um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go. Over and out. Cheers, Boone, says Stephen Crawford. Right. Here we go, then. As for the lives, I'll see you all next Friday. Next Friday for the lives. Next week, tomorrow morning, Sunday, all next week, there'll be videos as normal. So if you want to watch a beer review or a food review or whatever you want to do, tune in, say hello. I'll be there. I'll like and love your comments. But for now, I'm going to finish up. And I'm going to say stone the crows. Boom and cheers. Oh, stream yard. How would you end stream yard? By here. Look, here we are. End. <laughs>